Well, hello there. Eric Griffith here with Griftastic Industries, and today we're going to fix the sound problem you've been having on your BenQ board. Now, our biggest complaint at my school district is occasionally this sound stops working after they've been watching media clips all morning. For some reason, the sound just doesn't work and they don't know how to resolve it. And I'm here to tell you, it happens accidentally. I get how it happens and I want to show you what you accidentally pressed in order to make that happen. All right, there are four things that I want you to check first for me as we're troubleshooting this issue. All right, the first is I'm gonna jump over to laptop and we're gonna look in the lower right hand corner. And I can see right down here, I have a Windows 11 computer. You may have Windows 10, you may have a MacBook. Anywhere where your volume button is, it's either at the top or the bottom, go ahead and click that once and make sure that the volume is set at an appropriate level so that you can hear it. In fact, when you let go of it on a Windows device, it should make a little noise. Now, if you didn't hear that, uh, my microphone's pretty sensitive and it may not have picked it up, but I definitely heard it. So if you didn't hear any volume and you're adjusting the volume every single time and it's still not making any noise, there's a second place we can go and check. And this is at the, uh, the bottom of the list here. Check the speakers themselves, okay? So the speaker itself, if I go back into my Windows button and there's a little arrow that points over, so it's about right here. If I click that arrow once, it's gonna say which device is the audio playing on. I should have two if I have this plugged into a projector or a BenQ board. The first one is speakers, and the second one uh, happens to be the device that I'm recording on, but for you, it may say BenQ board, okay? If you want the audio to come out of the BenQ board, click BenQ board, and that will shift and move the audio over to the BenQ board, all right? So that's the second thing we can do to adjust, all right? The third, and this is where the problem comes in, it is an accident every single time, but accidentally we are pushing a button in our browser of choice that is causing this to mute your audio. Okay, so let me show you. I've got a YouTube video up right here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. This button is the play button. This button is the next or advanced to the next video button. And this button is the audio button. And it's so close to the always or the auto play is on button. And that's because I have accidentally zoomed in. Let me click right here, zoomed in my screen so much that you can't tell the, the difference. The buttons have been compressed because they're trying to, convict, uh, trying to fit all those buttons in that tiny little spot. All right, so let me show you this issue right down here. If I click this once, right now it is unmuted. If I click it again, it's muted. You can barely see the difference, right? Muted, unmuted, okay? So bit of a different issue uh, to not be able to see that, kind of frustrating. Now, let me go ahead and zoom out and I'm gonna hit control and minus a couple of times on my keyboard and now that view has changed, all right? I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that that little button is unmuted. So accidentally, folks are just hitting this, this volume button and this is yet another option that adjusts the audio, okay? So we've got two different audio volume knobs that we've adjusted one on the computer and one in the media. Kind of odd. The last one happens to do, so I'm, I'm mirroring my board up to the screen, has to do with the board itself. In order to fix this one, you wanna take the BenQ remote and hold the volume button up. And now you can see that if I hold my volume button up, you can see in the very center of the screen there that the volume is going up and down on my board. Make sure that's in an appropriate level for audio to come through. You don't want to blast your kids and have them fill out comment cards about you, all right? So, but those are four different ways that we can adjust the audio on the board. The last one is if you have checked all those different settings and you're made, you've made sure that the board is, uh, or that, that all of those settings are done, do me a favor, go up to the top of the screen. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then just hit the refresh button in the upper right hand corner and that'll refresh the screen. It should pick up any settings or changes you've made and it should start working. If not, you can always send a ticket to your technology department and they'll be happy to help. All right, so if this little issue was resolved for you today, give me a thumbs up and possibly a subscribe. And I hope that you have a griftastic day. Thanks.